Michael from uh, Wildcrafting Northwest. I'm here with Fitter Stan and some ducks, and we're going to be going over another wild little plant. Today's plant is Pennyroyal, which is Mentha polygium, which comes from the Latin word for flea because it was traditionally used as an insect repellent, as well as rodent repellent. Um, it is in the mint family, but unlike a typical mint, which is very common to have a square stem, this is a round stem. Um, it has a creeping, almost carpet-like habit. Uh, it's not flowering right now, but when it does, it has another typical mint inflorescence. The flowers are very typical for mint, and um, it's a, a purplish lavender flower. So it does have a very strong, distinctive smell. So I noticed it out here um, just because walking around, I noticed the smell and it smelled like penny roll. So I looked down and there's penny roll. Here we are with a closer up view. Um, you can see that it's got opposite leaves and uh, it's got this purple coloration which won't necessarily persist throughout the whole year. Um, so opposite leaves, smooth leaves, and a very strong mint odor. Okay, so just to talk about some of the uses, it's really more of a medicinal or tea or flavoring plant than it is an edible plant. I mean, it is edible, but I just wouldn't cook up a whole bunch of it and eat it as a vegetable because it does actually contain a toxin called pol <laughs> polygon, which uh, in excessive amounts causes can cause liver damage. So you wouldn't want to eat it as a vegetable, but it does have some medicinal properties. Uh, the most common medicinal property of this is used as an abortifacient, which is something that causes abortions. Um, I want to talk a little bit about this as a case study of why you should always do research in multiple sources um, before you try to put anything in your body, medicinal, edible, otherwise. Um, because while making a tea is relatively safe, um, using the pure essential oils is very toxic because it, it uh, purifies and uh, concentrates the toxins to an unsafe level. Um, there has been at least one case of a woman using the essential oil to cause an abortion and she died from that. Um, uh, but as a tea, I would say it's relatively safe. But always you want to make an informed decision before you put anything in your body. So look at multiple sources, do research. For flavoring or tea, it's best to harvest um, in full sun during flowering because that uh, the highest essential oils are during that time um, but yeah just uh, it's good to dry and then make a tea out of it just maybe a couple teaspoons per cup or whatever um, depending on your tastes other uses are again as an insect repellent um, spraying a tea on yourself uh, topically I would ca I'll caution against using any of the essential oils for on your animals because it can be toxic as I mentioned even though many herbal flea medications for cats or dogs do contain it, I would caution against it. I should mention that it is actually not native to the Northwest. It's native to Europe, but it often escapes cultivation. So it can be found around usually banks, moist soil, um, things like that. So that's pretty much all I have to say about Petit Royal. Uh, I'll have more videos coming up soon. Thanks. Pretty royal! <laughs>